if it is your first time here this is african bella the real talk so if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel i always talk about relationships and life experiences in general and today this video was requested by a subscriber. She wanted me to talk about my pregnancy journey and that is what I'm going to talk about today. It is story time, guys, again. <laughs> I know you like my stories. So I'm going to start my story right away. So how did I found out I was pregnant? I missed my period for two weeks, but I did not worry. I said, maybe it will come but naturally i'm a very active person so i started feeling very lazy i could sleep till midday and i felt like what is going on why am i feeling so tired and when i wake up i take breakfast i sit on the couch and i sleep again deep sleep guys <laughs> so it continued like that then i started feeling like maybe i might be pregnant so i decided to go and buy a test pregnant test and it was during the afternoon so i could not check right away because they say if you want to know if you want to get the test very correctly you should check early in the morning or during evening so i decided i should take a test in the evening but i could not wait <laughs> i kept on looking at the time until it was five i said no 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 i can't wait anymore i'm going to check right now so i went and i checked guess what i saw i was <laughs> it is still here i became very very happy i even cried guys the happiness i had i started imagining <laughs> how would my baby look like i was very very happy but <laughs> i decided to keep it a secret i did not tell anyone i did not tell even my husband and my birthday was almost approaching and i said i'll surprise him on my birthday and i'll tell him that we are pregnant <laughs> so that is what happened my birthday day came and we went for dinner because we planned to have a dinner when we finished eating that is when i told him the good news <laughs> he was so happy so after one week i started feeling saliva a lot of saliva in my mouth i started spitting all the time it is spitting spitting all the day then i had to call my friend who had experience because she had two babies so i asked her what is this why is that i feeling a lot of saliva in my mouth she told me you don't worry just take ginger and put it under your tongue yeah <laughs> put it under your tongue then after it will go away so i took ginger and all the time all the day it stayed there then i started feeling nausea so i stopped i kept on spitting guys i spitted i could feel sick fever and there is a time i had a lot of mucus around here a lot a lot a lot guys that made me feel very bad i went to the doctor and there is this thing they told me to to put you put it on on the nose and mouth here so the medicine goes away i'll show you the photo here so guys the first trimester was really bad i never wanted to eat anything the only food i could want is just boiled food and african food that's all but the boiled one if you fry something i feel bad when my husband starts to cook i go to the room i never wanted to smell anything like food it was a very very bad time and one day it was around midnight i was sleeping then i felt a very strong strong pain i felt like peeing so i went straight to the bathroom but when i wanted to pee nothing came out i felt pain 
It stayed for an hour, feeling pain. I cried. I was really sad. I said, what is happening? Is this how it is to get pregnant? <laughs> so it was really, really a rough time. Really rough. First trimester, very rough. <laughs> so the time to take blood came because when you're pregnant here, I think everywhere, when you are pregnant, you go to the hospital, you take blood tests. They test your blood if you have any problems to know early for the future of your baby, for the health of your baby and you too. So I went to the hospital. But before that, because of salivating, because of spitting a lot, I told my husband to buy me sweets, candies. So my husband bought this big sack of sweets. I could take sweets the whole day. So that day of blood test, I went with a lot of, lots of sweets in my handbag. So I sat there and there was a lot of people waiting to take blood. So it was a bit long. And we, we also had to wait one hour to wait for the results. So while waiting to go to get a test, I was continuing taking sweets so that I cannot spit. I did not take my cup for spitting because I used to move around with a spitting cup. Guys, it was very serious. So I took sweets, took sweets, one, two, three. So when I went to, ch to check blood, the results came that I had a lot of sugar in my blood and they were scared. They thought I had diabetic. So they told me, you have to come next time to check your blood again because your blood sugar is very, it's very high. So <laughs> my husband told them that she took sweets. They said, next time don't take sweets. So I returned the next time I took the test, it came out well. But this problem of salivating, it was really big. And guys, I spitted. Everyone could tell me, don't worry, it will end. After three months, it will go away. <laughs> Even I used to read because I I followed all all pages that talks about baby that talks about motherhood so I could read what people talk about salivating the questions they ask even the baby center app was my favorite so I could go there and look so that I can find a solution to my problem of spitting but they said after three months to go away after five months but I spitted till the day I went to labor. So time went by and my pregnancy was five months and it was the baby gender reveal time. So I couldn't wait for that. I was very excited to know what gender am I having? And my husband really wanted a baby girl, but I kept on telling him that if it's a baby boy, it is okay, I'll love, I'll give him the love as I could give to a baby girl. A baby is a baby to me, <laughs> it doesn't matter. He said, yes, I know a baby is a baby, but I wish for a baby girl because I know baby girls are sweet, they don't cry, I wish he knew. <laughs> they don't cry, they're not troublesome. <laughs> so we went for, the checkup to check our baby gender and I lied down, they checked me, the ultrasound and the daughter, to the doctor, the daughter, sorry, the doctor told me that you have a pretty baby girl, congratulations. I was happy, very happy guys. <laughs> told me you take care of her okay she's your best friend I was really happy my husband was I don't know how I can explain how happy he was but he was really happy when I was six months pregnant I started feeling a little bit better I could eat more I became more active and the only problems I was left with was vomiting every morning and evening heartburn and spitting so those were the only problems, but I could eat more, not like before. So it was approaching summer and here is the culture. People go on holidays when it is in summer, even if you're on a tight budget, but you must go for 
holiday even if it is for three days to the nearest city or nearest country but people go for holidays so we planned for our holiday and we went to the nearest city which was San Remo very beautiful it is famous for music festival here in Italy it is a music city I will show you all the photos of that city few but not much but few photos I'll put them here so that you can see what I'm talking about and we also went to a city called Menton it is in France very beautiful we also went to Monte Carlo it is a very beautiful city governed by the prince everything luxurious guys the building people luxurious life the luxury stores the designers oh my god the gardens this city is very beautiful i will sure return there very soon and when i go i'll take you with you guys so that you can see this amazing city it is very amazing i'll show you some photos and a little bit of a clip so that you can see just in a bit of what i'm talking about if you have not if you have never been there so we spent our holidays for one week and it was time to return we returned back home that is when my baby start kicking a lot she could kick all day <laughs> Some women when they're pregnant, they say that a baby kicks maybe only at night or only in the evening or only in the morning. But my baby could kick the whole day. So I was scared and I felt maybe something is not right. Also, I told my husband, maybe the doctors made a mistake. It isn't a girl. How can a baby girl kick like this? <laughs> So we decided to go to a, gy a gynecologist to check again the ultrasound to see the development of our baby in the stomach. So we checked and the doctor was like, the baby, the baby gender is, 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 oh my God, using that thing they put on the stomach to check for for the ultrasound so he continued doing like this is is was like i wanted to tell him tell us <laughs> then he said it's a femina means female in english so we are happy he said oh but she kicks a lot we think we thought it was a boy <laughs> maybe the first ultrasound made a mistake he said no it's a baby girl and we we're happy so when i finished my appointment with a gynecologist we returned home and when i entered inside our home i found a very big surprise and this surprise was planned by my sister-in-laws and my brother-in-laws there was these two big boxes <laughs> and my husband knew but he did not tell me anything they when I went to the hospital with my husband, my husband gave the keys to the sister-in-law, but I don't know when. So I found these two boxes and one was written like this. I did not take a photo of the boxes, but I have the papers still now. One was written my name, this one, and another one was written my baby's name. This one. <laughs> in english so i was very happy i opened the boxes and there are so many things so many gifts for a baby you know <laughs> a lots and lots of things and also my box had a lot of things a lot of gifts the perfume the lotions body lotions a lot of things the nail polish everything that they know i love was inside there so i felt very happy i felt very blessed guys and another thing i found was this one here you know this this one here if you live in europe but i don't know in other especially in italy i can't say in europe 
I don't know. But here in Italy, they have this culture. When you are born a baby girl, you buy something like this, or you are given a gift by, by friends or family, you put it on the door to inform the neighbors and people around that there is a baby girl born, a new baby girl born in that house. But if you're born a baby boy, the same thing, you buy something blue or you get something blue, but it stays on the door, the front door, to inform people that there is a new baby boy born in that house. So this one was given by my brother-in-law and his wife for Sophie, my baby. So we put it on the door. I was very happy, guys. There is nothing feels like being loved. It feels so good, this feeling of feeling being loved by people. You know, when you live far away from home, you don't have any family near. So I feel I felt very blessed, guys, and I am blessed. <laughs> I remember one funny thing I did when I was pregnant. I, I, when I reached at uh, six months pregnant, I started craving for burger. So we went to Burger King and we ordered for burger. You know, we, when you order for burger, there is soda, you get soda. So I took soda and the soda finished and I did not take my cup for spitting. So what I did, I decided to spit in the cup. <laughs> I started to, to spit in the cup, that one, the cup for the, for the soda. And my husband was like, you are embarrassing me, what's this? But when will this end? Control yourself. <laughs> I told him, it is not controllable. I wish you could know. I cannot control it. The saliva keeps on coming. <laughs> so that was a very funny thing that happened. Another funny thing my husband told me that because we could go to the hospital so many times because when you're pregnant, when you feel maybe something is not right, when you are not sure of what is going on, you feel bad, you go to the hospital. So I used to go to the hospital much times. So my husband one day told me that, oh my God, I think the whole city knows how you look. <laughs> I think you can understand because when you're pregnant, oh my God, the shyness goes away like you're shy. You don't want anyone to look at you. But my husband told me, oh my God, all the doctors here in this city knows you. <laughs> I laughed a lot, but that's the journey, guys. When you're pregnant, that's it. You have to go through that there is no shyness <laughs> so for me i never went for pregnant pregnant women classes i never did that but i kept on reading on internet on everything about the development of the baby what a woman should do when she feels like she wants to go to labor and there is this thing I was very curious of. I wanted to do that injection. I think they call it epidural. The injection that they inject you so that you cannot feel pain when you go to labor. So I wanted to do that and I asked my husband to go and talk to the doctor if it is possible. But before that, I have my sister-in-law who is a doctor and I text her and I ask her if I can do that, if it is okay, what, has, what are the consequences if you do that. And she told me, I can advise you, don't do that. Don't take that injection because when you take it later, especially when it, it is in the cold, like in winters here, you will feel a lot of pain, you will get a back pain a lot. So it is better not to do it. If you need it, the doctors will know, but there is no need for you to ask for it. So I said, thank you. And I stopped that thinking. So the last checkup came and I went for a checkup and it was a little bit like an interview. I don't know if in other countries they do the same, but for me, they did like an interview asking me if I had any sick, 
like the sick from my parents, what are the sickness that may be in my family or my parents have. And they also asked me something very weird if I am ready to donate any of my body part if I die. Oh my God, I was very scared. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Hmm. Remember, it was almost arriving the day of my delivery. So I was, I was I, very worried. <laughs> So I told, I told her no, <laughs> she told me this is normal, this is normal here to ask, don't worry. So she only told me, please, if the day arrives, don't be scared, the pain will come and go, come and go. She told me everything and she was like, you should listen to what the instruction you are given to the nurses, follow them and everything will be okay, don't be scared. So the checkup, the interview went well and I went home. So there was a graduation party because I was almost approaching my delivery day. It was 39 weeks and there is a graduation party of my sister-in-law's son. He was graduating at the university and we went for the party. We ate, enjoyed and returned home at around 11 at night. I returned home, I sat on the couch and I felt like I'm not comfortable. I sat down on the carpet, I felt bad, so I decided to lie down because the baby was pushing like the legs was pushing my stomach like this. So I felt very pain, I felt a lot of pain and I told I told my husband that I'm feeling a lot of pain. He told me, let us go to the hospital. I told him, no, why should we go to the hospital? I'm 39 weeks. He said, no, I don't want any trouble. Let us go to the hospital right now. So he took my hospital bag and we went to the hospital. Arrived at the hospital, I wasn't feeling much pain because the pain would come and go, come and go. So, and it wasn't all that strong. So we went to the gynecologist office and they checked me, they said, but the way is not, the baby's way is not open. I think it is just normal because she's pregnant. And I listened to the, because the delivery words, they were near. I listened to the women screaming, crying, and I told my husband, but you said it is not painful. Why are they crying? He said, no, don't worry, it is not painful. So they checked me, they said, but we are going to give her the bed to rest here, then tomorrow morning you will come for her. Let her, let her rest and we, we look after her until tomorrow to see what happens. So I was given a bed, I went to the bed and, and rested. So I was given the bed, I lied on the bed, but I was sure that the next morning I'm returning home because I was 39 weeks pregnant, guys, and I knew, I told you I was reading everywhere, Baby Center, all the pages on Instagram, everywhere <laughs> that talked about baby and motherhood. So they said you can even get birth at 41 weeks. So I knew that tomorrow I'm going home. So I stayed on the bed. I wasn't feeling a lot of pain. It could come and go. And until three at night, I felt very sharp pain. Like, you know, when someone does like this, gives you these kicks. I felt a lot of kicks in my stomach and the sharp one. Then suddenly I felt very wet on the bed, the whole bed. I felt very wet where I was lying. And that is when I realized that maybe now it's when the bottle, the bottle has broken. Because they say when you're about to get birth, the, the bottle of the baby breaks and the water goes out. So I ring the bell because there is a bell on the bed. I was lying. I ring the bell to call the nurse. The nurse came immediately and checked me and she said, don't worry, 
you'll be okay don't worry but i can advise you when the pain comes you do then you release you you release the the air in the nose calming you continue like that like that then relaxing so the pain became very sharp i remember the doctor came in to check me if the way the way of the baby has opened and he said not yet very very little i was like oh my god maybe i should ask for <laughs> for a caesar operation <laughs> so that the baby the baby can be taken out immediately and <laughs> ends of the story <laughs> not to go into so much pain so i continued doing <sighs> like that so i continued doing like that all the time all the time but i felt a lot of pain even it came in the morning i could not understand that it is already in the morning i did not sleep a little bit i did not close my eyes the whole night i felt a lot of pain i went to the bathroom nothing came out pain it comes and go comes and go and it started coming much like con continuation comes 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 goes comes comes then i told the nurse and i was rushed to the labor room guys <laughs> it was painful i remember my husband was seated next next to my bed and looking at me he was like i am sorry but i don't know how i can help you i told him just leave me <laughs> leave me i don't know i don't know what you should do i called even the name of my mother all the time I was like mama 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 please help me then i remember i was it was up upstairs so down there was a bridge i looked at the bridge and i was like oh my god so god i have I'm going to die in a foreign country while giving birth. A lot of thoughts coming into my mind and I thank the nurse. She kept, she kept on encouraging me, please push, 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 keep on pushing, keep on pushing. When the pain comes, push. When it goes away, relax. But when it comes, you push, keep on pushing. So I kept on pushing. She told me, can I do a massage? Can I do for you a massage maybe to make you feel better i told her no don't do anything do you want to put your legs down i told her no i don't feel like doing anything guys i kept on pushing 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 and then she told me what is the name of your baby i told her she told me soon she'll be arriving guys i'm sorry I'm getting so emotional oh my god so my baby was born they took her to clean her and immediately she started breastfeeding and they were like where did she learn it where did she learn the skills <laughs> so we went out my sister-in-law was waiting for me i was happy <laughs> very happy guys i wish every woman that wishes to have a baby i pray to god god should answer that prayer because it is a very very good moment guys a very good moment and unforgettable one so i returned back to the world and everything was good they told me to rest to sleep but i could not sleep guys because i was excited want to look at my baby the whole time hold my baby <laughs> a very beautiful moment <laughs> we stayed at the hospital for three days then after three days that is when i had to return home so we returned home with my baby and my husband and it was 
a new beginning guys because when you are single you don't have a baby it is very different but when you have a baby guys everything changes in your life your life is not the same anymore because you are a mother and you have a lot of responsibilities so when i reached home again i had to cry again why because it is the time that i really missed my family i wanted to see my sisters i wanted that that feeling you know when you have your family around yes my husband's family used to come and help me a lot even the first bath i was helped by my sister-in-law but i kept on missing my family my everyone in my family and i wanted that help because where i come from when you are when you are a new mother you, you you have given birth you get that help like you have your mother there to take care of you the whole day she can stay even for two weeks three weeks with you taking care of you assisting you do this do that and for me it was different because i was there with me and my husband and even my my husband's family my sister-in-laws used to come but they can't stay there the whole day the culture is different due to africa but you know guys that that's a dreaming you dream like you you've given birth all your family is there so i cried and my husband was like no don't cry because I am here with you don't worry my family is here don't worry everything will be fine but still i kept on you know for nigerians they call it omugo 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 i think whereby the mother comes and takes care of, and takes care of you guys i know for for women who stay in uh, outside your country where your family isn't around you know the feeling how it feels there is no that care that you, you can get like the way you could get it when you are at home so i felt very bad i was depressed guys because everything new the baby is new and the worst thing my baby was born with a problem of colic and i struggled a lot very much so it became very hard for me but one day i woke up and i was like but i asked myself a question who told you to get married far away from your country no one i answered it was myself it was my choice and how can i expect my family to be here with me when i know it is very far it is not near so there, it was useless i told myself to cry and to wish for something that isn't possible so i told myself girl take your responsibility take care of your baby and be strong everything will be okay so that is when i started to be happy again my smile returned and started taking care of my baby and everything went well yes what i want to say motherhood is very beautiful guys very beautiful it feels so good especially like now when she's starting to talk sometimes when she does something that she knows that i don't like it she comes and and, and says mama mama then i say why is it she hugs me and kisses me <laughs> I don't know maybe it is a way of saying I'm sorry so it feels so good to be a mother but it is not easy because you need to have a lot of patience if you don't have patience oh my god you can't be a mother because you can get angry because the baby does not understand what is the good what is the bad you have to teach her so it isn't easy but it is a very very beautiful experience so guys that was my pregnant story i hope you enjoyed i am sorry i got a little bit emotional because it is a very unforgettable thing and unforgettable thing and a very good experience in life 
and again I pray to God to all women that wish to have babies that wish to become mothers God should grant them what they wish for so thank you very much for watching please like share also comment below what you think about this video if you've enjoyed it what is your experience until my next video ciao love you guys Mwah.